Welcome, my beautiful people, to another episode of Dino Basics, where we dig up the basics on some of our favorite deceased beasts. My name is Logan, and welcome to another entry in our dinosaurs? More like other stuff, like arthropods and marine reptiles. Nah, that, that's even worse. Anyway, today we'll be looking at the history of the reptilian seal. Thank you to King Shark is a Shark for today's topic, the Nothosaurus. The first remains of Nothosaurus were originally discovered in 1834 by German paleontologist Georg von Munster, full name here, which I won't read. I probably didn't even pronounce his shortened name right. This original specimen was located in a rock formation known as the Germanic Muschelkalk, a layer of sedimentary rock that stretched across Central and Western Europe. This particular sedimentary strata has provided us with a vast array of animals originating from the Triassic period, an era of Earth's history nearly 250 million years ago. Obviously from the name of the formation, Nothosaurus was found in a section located in the modern day country of Germany. These original remains would help name a new genus and species, the Nothosaurus mirabilis, which would become the type species for the genus. It is important to note that the genus of Nothosaurus is an extremely diverse one. Currently, there are 12 widely recognized species for this creature, shown here. Differences between each often come down to specific characteristics, like geographical location, size, or minor skeletal variations. Examples of this include the Nothosaurus giganteus, which could grow three feet or a meter longer than many other species, or the most recent species to be named, Nothosaurus zhangyi, which was located in modern-day China thousands of miles from its European and African cousins. The name Nothosaurus stems from ancient Greek and includes Notho for illegitimate or false and Soros for lizard, translating to false lizard. This name may sound somewhat random from what we know today, but early specimens of Nothosaurus were believed to be completely terrestrial animals, so their behavior and lifestyle was believed to be similar to that of modern lizards, like monitors. But to make sure you don't accidentally confuse the two with their uncanny resemblance, well, you have to squint, false was added to the name, making it false lizard. While this creature certainly wasn't a lizard, Nothosaurus was actually a fellow reptile. More specifically, belonging to a long extinct group of reptiles known as the Sauropterygia. This was a group of extremely diverse aquatic reptiles that first appeared in the Triassic, and while many, including Nothosaurus, would die out moving into the Jurassic, one group the plesiosaurs, would continue to thrive until eventually going extinct alongside the dinosaurs in the Cretaceous extinction event. Furthermore, Nothosaurus was the namesake of their own order, the Nothosauridia. This was a small group of reptiles defined by their long necks, webbed feet, and flat heads. Nothosaurus is probably the most recognizable member of this group, but other members include animals like the Germanosaurus and Lariosaurus. Nothosaurus would have averaged about 13 feet or 4 meters in length, and probably only would have stood about 3 feet or a meter off the ground. Although some species, like the previously mentioned Giganteus, could reach lengths of almost 23 feet or 7 meters. Based on this range, Nothosaurus probably would have weighed between 180 to 330 pounds. The distinct skull of Nothosaurus was very flat and thin, sporting a jaw filled with pin-like teeth, 
giving this creature its, uh, charming grin. These teeth pointed out of the mouth and intermeshed together, creating a perfect fish trap, ideal for spearing and gripping its prey. Based on the weak jaw muscles of this creature, it is likely Nothosaurus could only hunt animals significantly smaller than itself, like fish, squid, or other small reptiles. This head would be supported by its slender neck, similar to its plesiosaur cousins. This neck provided extra mobility for reaching out and striking schools of fish, a specialized adaptation unique to the Sauropterygia. Its legs and body were similarly lean, minimizing water resistance and helping this animal glide through the ocean to chase prey. The tail of Nothosaurus is often compared to that of an eel, suggesting Nothosaurus would rely on the entirety of its body to reach significant speeds underwater. Further helping this animal swim at high speeds were its webbed feet, but unlike many other members of its group, Nothosaurus had full legs, and not just flippers. While these legs were not very long, the fact that this creature sported such limbs most likely indicated that Nothosaurus would spend a considerable amount of time on land, possibly to rest above the water or escape predators. All of these features combine to make Nothosaurus a fairly unusual predator for its time. Many scientists believe Nothosaurus would have lived like modern day seals, earning them their nicknames as the Seals of the Triassic. Nothosaurus would dive into the water to swim after schools of fish or other small game and grab them in their trap-like jaws. In order to rest or catch their breath, Nothosaurus would then walk onto beaches or rocky shores before returning to the seas to hunt again. Nothosaurus would have lived in a variety of locations, including countries and in modern-day Europe, like Germany, Spain, and France, areas of Eastern Asia, as well as areas of the Middle East and Northern Africa, particularly areas around the Mediterranean. These varying locations and multitude of species indicated that Nothosaurus was an extremely successful genus, most likely attributing much of their success to when they lived. Nothosaurus lived during the Triassic, probably around 240 million years ago, although this could vary by a few million years. Their evolution came not long after the Permian-Triassic extinction event, an often overlooked but nonetheless devastating extinction event in our world's history. To illustrate how devastating this event was, the extinction event that killed the dinosaurs, the Cretaceous extinction, was believed to have killed around 76% of the Earth's species. Pretty bad, right? Well, the Permian-Triassic extinction killed almost 96% of all species. Yeah, pretty bad. Important to note that the exact percentage can vary between sources, but the Permian-Triassic extinction, often called the Great Dying, is universally considered to be the worst extinction event in our world's history. So far. With such a massive loss of life, Nothosaurus was able to take the place of many oceanic hunters, as our planet's oceans were hit much harder by this extinction event than the land. Many large oceanic carnivores, like the Mosasaurus, would not evolve for another 150 million years or so, so Nothosaurus would have few, if any, natural predators in the water, possibly some early sharks, as well as some larger species of ichthyosaurs, could pose a threat to Nothosaurus. But evidence of this is scarce. Terrestrial carnivores seem to pose a greater threat to Nothosaurus, with giant carnivores like the Prestosuchus easily able to overpower this marine reptile. Ironically, while Nothosaurus and other Sauropterygia would flourish due to an extinction event, another extinction event would spell their doom. 
As note, the source would go extinct moving into the Jurassic period, often called the Triassic-Jurassic extinction. Mostly attributed to underwater volcanic activity that resulted in global warming and chemical shifts in the oceans. Nothosaurus is often acknowledged as one of the most recognizable and famous animals of the Triassic. But owing to this being an often overlooked period, and the fact that it was not a dinosaur, Nothosaurus has struggled to maintain a steady appearance in modern pop culture. This creature would earn a few minor appearances in media, like a blink and you'll miss a cameo in The Rite of Spring from Disney's Fantasia, the 2003 documentary Sea Monsters, or if you're American, Chased by Sea Monsters, and the 2010 documentary Sea Rex, Journey to a Prehistoric World. See, see what they did there? That's clever. That's clever. Although, Nothosaurus may be able to make a resurgence, as the Jurassic Park franchise has recently provided Nothosaurus a few opportunities to shine, including being featured in the 2020 animated series Camp Cretaceous, and appearing in the 2021 video game Jurassic World Evolution 2 as part of the prehistoric Marine Species Pack. The Nothosaurus is the true definition of an opportunist and survivalist, able to thrive following one of the most devastating events in our world's history, capable of enduring the dangerous shorelines and unforgiving seas of the Triassic, as well as specializing to become the perfect oceanic predator. Perhaps this fighting spirit can help this beast reestablish dominance in today's media. But hey, what this creature accomplished during its reign is a noth ing to scoff at. That's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a comment below what you think of Nothosaurus and if you've heard of this creature before the video. Two down, two to go. For next week, we'll be rising from the ocean depths to the radiant skies as we explore the basics on the sail-headed pterosaur Tupandactylus. Thank you for your support, and see you in the next video.